Hi, my name is Elizabeth and welcome to my DIY channel. This is just going to be a very short video on uh, how I made these very easy, simple corkboard picture displays for my living room. You only need a few supplies for this. You'll need uh, cork boards that are about one foot square. And you can get these in a variety of colors, uh, either at a craft store or from Amazon. And they come in a pack of four and they cost a little under $10, so they're very affordable. Then you'll need straight pins. You'll need screws, the use of a power drill, and photos of your choice. So first of all, what I did was I mounted these four cork boards and how I did that was that I pre-drilled holes in the corner, the four corners of each board. And you can do that with a power drill. Just be careful, cork is very, very fragile. And just be careful not to push too hard with a power drill. Just gently drill a hole through the corner and try not to break a corner off. Then I installed them uh, with the screws into the wall. There's no need for wall anchors or any fancy hanging equipment because these weigh nothing at all. So you can just use a, a regular screw in any kind of wall, even if you have plaster, you can just use a regular screw to mount these. Then what I did is I used some photos that I took while I was hiking in the Catskills uh, in the fall. And these photos were really, really cool, or I thought they were until I had them developed. This was way back before uh, there were really cool uh, smartphones that had great cameras. I was actually taking these with a digital camera and the photos look so great uh, in person. But when I finally got them developed, I found that the, the colors weren't vibrant enough. And so what I did is I sent them away to a friend who was really savvy with Photoshop and she touched up the colors and made them really look like they had uh, what, what the scene had looked like when I was actually there. A lot of times uh, cameras won't get all the great bright colors that you want them to. But nowadays, there are all kinds of really affordable apps uh, on your phone to, to edit your, your photos that you've taken. So you don't even need to have Photoshop or know somebody who knows how to use it. I happen to use an app called Camera Plus, and it's, I think, $5 on the App Store. So check that out. Really easy um, photo editing tool and very affordable, and you can really make your photos pop and get these great colors from them. So once I got them uh, touched up in the way I wanted them, I got them developed. And then what I did was I didn't want all of the photos to be the same shape on these displays. So I actually cut them down because uh, sometimes photos have really, really interesting places and, and, and zones in the photo, but you wouldn't have noticed them unless you zoomed in on it. And so I cut out these nice geometric shapes um, that could kind of all come together and form one display. So I wanted to use straight pins to display the photos because that's what scientists use uh, to display um, insects and cocoons and, and, and things like that in their displays. And I just really thought that a straight pin would give it kind of a science nature feel uh, to it. And it was a lot better than say a thumbtack, you know, a plain old thumbtack. So straight pins, super cheap. You can get them on Amazon. I think that's where I bought mine because who knows where to get straight pins. <laughs> so uh, that's it. That's, that's all there is to this. And the wonderful part about this design is that you can interchange these photos throughout the seasons or as your children are growing up or uh, however you want it to change. I've actually kept these photos up because this was the first trip I took to the Catskills and I, I really loved it and I just like the colors in these photos and it's just really worked well in my living room. So that's it for this video. It was very, very short. Uh, it's a very easy project, it's very simple. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel below. And like I said, I've got more videos on the way. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.